Oh my gosh, I have so many things to do today. Oh my gosh, same. I need to file taxes. I have laundry. I need to build that shelving unit. End of the year grade. I need to wash the floors. Dishes. I need to learn the Torah. I gotta shine my shoes. I haven't even finished us. I gotta shine your shoes. I need to comb the baby's hair. I gotta shine her shoes. I need to open a whole salsa jar. I gotta get the car fixed. I gotta relace my shoes. I gotta buy a necklace. I gotta make another pacifier. I gotta buy two necklaces. I gotta add washing fluid to the car. I need to resoil the flowers. I need to retile the bathroom. I need to knit Talia a diaper. I need to braid my beard. Just so much stuff. I know, we're swamped. But Katsepin is just so good. I know. Oh man. Wow. This is also another day. And there's another day. All set. Hey everybody, today's off is Payzine, that's 87, which is my brother's birthday, American style calendar. And we have another new parag, very exciting. So this woman gets married and she's happy, thank God, and her husband travels across the sea for some important business trip and two Adim come to this woman and they say, listen, uh, your husband's a goner. <laughs> she weeps and moans and spends a few years trying to pick herself up and then gets remarried. Turns out her husband wasn't dead, he comes back. What does she need to do? She gets divorced from both guys. She literally gets no kasuva. She doesn't get anything. It's a really difficult halachic ruling, I think. I'm actually wondering if we would actually do this nowadays. I'm assuming we would, but it's just hard to imagine. I wonder if there's other factors that would really change it a little bit. Anyway, this mission talks about all the different deedim with the woman in that situation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to count the omer, which you're not going to do for much longer. Bye.